Hey, welcome back to another edition of Ultimate Arc. I think this is, uh, what, episode 29 or something like that? Don't quote me on that. And, yep, we're back on the center. We're going to be doing all of the free DLC maps. And this is the only place you're going to find an adventure like that, folks. So, thank you. If you like this series, go ahead and subscribe. And, uh... There we are. Yep, this is the center, all right. We're going to need to go, out, go down to the obelisk and get our stuff. So, we're going to get the king of the center, Josh. Let's bring him out and go down and get our stuff. There he is. My clutch tame from when I first came to the center. We've been here a couple of times since those days. And we're going to be going coming here more. So we're going to go down here and get the stuff that we uploaded from Fyodor. And we'll kind of meet some of the team from there. You probably guess who they are by now. But the purpose of coming to the center is the center generally has better level dinos than just about any other map. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of extended dino dinos. I mean, this is the island set. There aren't any special dinos on the center. I was kind of hoping that the last time they would, uh, when Ark announced that they were having, you know, creature votes for all the maps, they did Ragnarok instead of the center. And the center the, needs more love than any other map. So, yeah, everybody slights the center. Uh, but I have many good memories from this map. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our stuff out of here. And then our mission today, well, I'm just going to tell you, our mission was to get a Therizino. That's kind of what I'm looking for, although I keep my eyes open for other boss-type dinos, too. Like I said, the center is a great map for getting higher level dinos compared to say the island or last time I was on Ragnarok gosh I couldn't believe how terrible and crappy those letters uh, levels were despite you know we're using the same settings for all of the maps so who knows we're just gonna take Josh back up to the area and we're gonna get kitted out and equipped and then we're gonna go looking around and here we are okay I've been out here about over an hour looking for Therizinos you know there's great levels of all kinds of dinos except for the Therizinos for some reason so we're gonna have to go somewhere else but we are not leaving here empty-handed we are here in the redwoods and you see why we hate the redwoods you see those thylas sticking to the trees down there yeah, at level 25, and it, it, there's actually two of them on that tree, and I've seen lots of trees with just that on there. The redwoods, everybody hates the redwoods. It is a well-deserved reputation. Uh, in the last 90 minutes or so of cruising around the center, I've seen a lot of great level uh, rexes which I probably should have maybe tamed one of those, but we're not quite ready for that yet. So I've kind of, my mission, I thought, well, maybe I'll find some Therizinos here in the Redwoods, but no, I haven't seen a single one. Uh, yeah, you see the level 145 Dyer Bear down there. Um, I do try, but I can't pick him up with the Wyvern. Otherwise, I probably would have tamed it. Um, and that's me contemplating taming that dire bear. 
but taming things in the redwoods is always a risky proposition because there's so much other crap down here and we'll have a chance to see a little bit of that yet today there's that big waterfall on the edge of the red redwoods yeah we're on the I don't know if it's the lower end or upper end however we're, we're at one end of the redwoods and you can uh, look down there you could see off to the side there is Skull Island we will be visiting Skull Island this episode but right now we're just gonna cruise through looking around seeing if there's something well at this point I am looking for thylacolios good levels uh, because that's kind of been the missing link in my team I don't have any good strong fast land mounts lots of lots of uh, things for the air but if I get on the ground I'm gonna be in bad shape and right there up oh, uh, that's level 20 all right so we'll just uh, we'll just cruise right on by him right right oh uh, now let's let's look at that again here I am going by and I'm almost to that other tree I am a long ways away and yet that thing pounces on me and knocks me down I thought, quite frankly, I thought the fall was going to kill me, but nope. Thank goodness it was only a level 20. I could dispose of him with my shotgun, and there's my wyvern way down there. But man, those things are crazy. Yeah, that's why we all, that's why we hate the redwoods. <laughs> because everything there, we got, uh, we got thylas, we got microraptors, we got perlovias. All of those things want to knock you down and stun you and eat your face. All specialities of the redwoods. So, yeah, that happened. But we are going to look for and find a thyla here that was and of course uh, I'm gonna gain a little bit more altitude and get a little bit more respect because uh, yeah if you've never had that happen in the redwoods you haven't played arc long enough <laughs> if you haven't been pounced by a thyla alright so really taking a gingerly look around here uh, yeah, more dire bears. The bears don't seem to, unless you get right up in their face, they don't really bother you too much. But uh, everything else in here, totally different story. Totally different. And look at those weird shafts of light coming through there. The the center map is that's that's the one map that needs remastering more than any others. You see that derpy water there? Looks like, I don't know, tin foil or something. There's no other map of water like that. All right, and there's a couple of thylas right there. And you see that? Look at that guy jump way out there. And I knew they could do that, but the one that hit me jumped almost straight up. Uh, but that is a level 130, and I'm thinking, you know what? I want that level 130. Uh, the question is, I need to, I'm going to be making a trap for that. Where do I make the trap? Now in hindsight, as I'm looking around there, I probably could have cleared this area out and done a trap in there maybe. But considering all of the work that I go through from here on out, it's probably a good thing I didn't do that. What we're going to do is we're going to go out here to this island uh, just off the redwoods and just off where that thyla is and we're going to bring out the rest of the team and 
we're gonna make we're gonna make our trap and get things put together now the last time we were here at the center we were at the clear at the other side of the map so we'll put and then of course we got our blue ob base so we're gonna have a base right in here this will be a kind of a handy place the center map is a is a rather large map it was much much larger than the island or scorched earth even for that matter it is a and then when you consider the cave system that it has it is a huge it's really kind of a huge map people forget about that now because so many bigger maps have come out since then like Fjordor and uh, Lost Island alright so there's the team uh, here we go we got ASG we're gonna take and uh, get some stone and then uh, cut away and come back when we're ready to get in here and get our thylacolio we've already done the construction work using our team using Kaya Vino ASG and we're going to take him out here to the island and see if we can drop him in the trap that I made see I got the team there's the trap and there he got him in the first time that is always a minor miracle especially on a wyvern uh, most people would use an RG for that, but the wyvern's quicker. That's why I prefer it to the RG. So we're just going to, and I got to speed it up a little bit now. For all the things that we're going to do, we're going to knock this out with the shocking drink darts that we've been made. And I get distracted. There's a Pelagornis up there. A level 145 Pelagornis that kind of got me caught my eye. But first we got to get this dude. Alright, and we have some of our super kibble there. Our exceptional kibble, which we're going to use to tame everything. Uh, so yeah, we got our cooker made. We've uh, used... The we got some uh, Deinonychus with eggs that make the exceptional kibble. So we got we got a lot of things going that I really hadn't shown much on camera, but you'll get a chance to see eventually. Or I can just tell you about it. <laughs> All right. So uh, this I'm, I see that Pelagornis, and instead of using the net gun, I got one net left. Nets are kind of expensive. Bolas are cheap. But of course, I gotta get more thatch. That's Vino's job on the team today is to get, well, right now, up until this point, is was to get thatch to make our trap and to make our bolas. And like I say, I have this sped up so I can. Uh, otherwise, we be here all day. Uh, keep in mind that I've already been on this map for a couple hours so it's I've been here all day. Um, but I'm saving you guys the pain of all the just flying around looking at nothing. And there my uh, Thyla just tamed. Oh, missed. And there we go. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this Belagornis. I know I want to do some fishing for loot at some point. And Pelagornis Pelagorni, Pelagornises are really good. You can fish from their back. So they're good for that. And they're good for catching fish. Alright, so there, there is the Thyla. Tamed up to 194. Not too bad. Good health. 33 points on health. That's good. I can't complain. 
can't complain about that at all. A little bit uh, weak on the melee, but we'll work on that. We'll level that up. And maybe we'll find a partner for this Thyla at some point. Not today, though. Uh, now, in order to make a saddle for this guy, we're going to have to get some metal. So I went ahead and made a forge uh, and a bed to put down there. Uh, remember, we got Sandra. They misspelled Sandra on my shoulder to use if I want a quick teleport between beds which is handy. Now I'd taken Teach up here earlier to drive off the uh, the spiders and the snakes and the Arthur Pluro that were up here. Uh, left the dung beetle because he's not hurt anything. Don't need to kill him. We'll just let him let him just be a dung beetle up here. Uh, and you see up here on top of the Skull Island we got crystal, we got obsidian, and we've got metal. And it's just the metal that we're going to go after. Just a little bit of that. We don't need a whole lot. Uh, mainly enough to make the saddle. And if I need to later on repair anything, I can do that. Maybe with our little... Uh, outpost out here on the island near the Redwoods. I call it Redwoods Island. That's what I kind of named it. You can kind of see the dung beetle there. But yeah, this is on top of Skull Island. The probably the most recognizable terrain feature on the center. If uh, you're talking about tourist, uh, making a tourist pamphlet for the center this large it's not really a sculpture is it this this large structure island would be on the cover of the brochure Skull Island sometimes people call it Batman Island because it looks like kind of a Batman skull with its lit up eyes which we can't see from this at, from this island, from this island, we're looking at the backside of it. But now, that's what uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and bring our metal back, make a saddle for our phyla, and there you can see the little base I got made there with the uh, with the bed, the forge. Uh, we're gonna get some storage on there too if I don't already and I kept not having and then we're using uh, Kaya as our smithy a lot of people don't know that but the thorny dragon just like the beaver and the argent can be used as a smithy so that's what we're making the saddle for our phyla in So there we go. We have ourselves one Phyla saddle. Thank you, Kaya, for your assistance. And I brought the sheep there in case I wanted to use that to tame anything. I think I'm going to just leave the sheep here at this base. I think I got sheep at the other base, too. So we've got possibilities if we want to do more of that kind of taming. So yeah, I was looking, for, where'd my Thyla go? I put it up here in the storage because I didn't want to lose it up in Skull Island in case I fell into the lava or something really crazy happened. But there we go. Throw him out. This is a male Thyla. Well, go ahead and name him next time. Or the next time we get him out, I didn't name him today. But we do have some new subscribers, and one of you lucky guys are going to be have your name on the Thyla, which is 
arguably one of the best tames in the game right here so you can bet that un unless I made it and breed it this fella's gonna be used a lot there we are there's our two tames for today got to name the Pelagornis this is a female I don't know what I'm gonna need female names are harder because you just don't have as many subscribers that are females or people that I subscribe to but if you like my series feel free to subscribe to me and if you like this video Give it a like, and we will see you on the next one.